Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia, and today I'm going to take a look at the uh, Teletronics LA-2A Classic Leveler Collection by Universal Audio. Whenever you think of uh, Universal Audio, you automatically think of the LA-2A and the 1176 compressors, which Universal Audio still manufactures as a hardware unit. The LA-2A plugin collection consists out of four different versions and revisions of the LA-2A. The uh, LA-2A Legacy plugin was uh, the first plugin available for the UAD platform. This plugin was developed when they had the UAD-1 card, so they had a limited DSP resource. So the transformer and the character of the in and output distortion were not modeled in this specific plugin. This makes it not the most accurate model of the LA-2A, but it is the most DSP friendly of them all. But besides just this legacy plugin, the bundle consists out of three more really well modeled emulations of hardware versions of the LA-2A. So here we've got the 1960s Bill Putnam design, which is called the Teletronics LA-2A Silver. The Silver is the fastest one of the LA-2A collection, and this makes it suitable on a large number of programs, including really transient sounds like drums and percussion. The LA-2A Grey models the original mid-1960s unit. It's good to know that this model used a medium speed for the compression. The LA-2 model is the earliest of the Teletronics levelers in the collection. These units are extremely hard to find, so it's really nice that you can actually use these as a plug-in now. The LA-2 provides the slowest response and gives a really mellow type of sound. This makes it very useful on vowel type of sounds. There's literally no compressor sounding like the LA-2A. And there's not a compressor which is as easy to set up as an LA-2A. So let's take a look at their controls. The peak reduction takes care of the threshold and the amount of compression. It ranges from 0 to minus 40 dB. So we will need to rotate this clockwise until we feel that we get the amount of compression that we like. We don't have a ratio, attack or release setting on the LA-2A. We've got a compressor slash limiter switch on the left. When we set the switch to compressor, the applied ratio is approximately 3 to 1. When we set this to limiter, the applied ratio is infinite to 1. Just like on the original hardware, this control is not available on the LA-2 plugin. This plugin is hardwired in the limiter mode. So this means that the LA-2 always uses the infinite to 1 ratio. The gain knob increases the output level's gain up to 40 dB. Always keep in mind that this gain is after the compressor, so this is a makeup gain, and this does not affect how the compressor behaves. With the emphasis screw, we control a shell filter in the compressor sidechain input. This allows us to boost the higher frequencies on the sidechain input, making the compressor react less to the lower frequencies, and thus making it compress more on the higher frequencies than on the low. Let's take a listen at how these LA-2A sound. So here I've got a Cubase project loaded up with all four of the uh, different LA-2As already inserted on a vocal track that I've just recorded. So I'm going to first play back the uh, vocal just the way it is, all the inserts bypassed. Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia. Let's take the uh, LA-2 first. Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia. 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 You could hear the distinct differences between uh, all four of them, uh, especially these first three, which give a lot of harmonic distortion, really emulate the way our signal is going through that analog device. So really giving that, that harmonic sound that we, that we really love. And uh, the legacy one doesn't really add these harmonics, but it does give a really good, clean, uh, subtle compression, which we also really love. So this is not using as much DSP as the, uh, as the newer ones. You can hear that this sounds a lot cleaner. You could hear there is a lot of difference in the attack and release settings of each of these. So let's uh, try to compare that quickly again. Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia. Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia. Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia. They're all set up pretty, uh, well, as close as I could get them. So you could hear how much difference that we already have with these three different instances. So I ran some sine waves through them to measure the harmonic distortion that they're given. And each is giving different harmonic distortion the way that they are modeled from their hardware versions. So they all sound a little bit different and uh, they all give a little bit of a different character to our sound. Would personally suggest to go for the speed that you're looking for because the LA-2 is really slow, the other ones are a little bit faster, so you can play around with uh, the input type that you're giving it. Here I've got a more sang type of vocal. 
We're gonna tear the roof off. We're gonna tear the roof off. Well, that's a lot for this one, but let's increase that peak reduction and have more compression. So we're basically lowering the threshold when we increase this peak reduction. We're gonna tear the roof off. We're gonna tear the roof off. We're gonna tear the roof off. You can hear how much compression that we have. It's, it's taking a really long time, the release, as you can see here. It was still releasing the uh, compression. We're gonna tear the roof off. We're gonna tear the roof off. Same goes for the, uh, for the silver one. Let's uh, lower that threshold a little bit. We're gonna tear the roof off. We're gonna tear the roof off. And gain that back up. We're gonna tear the roof off. I'm gonna try uh, the last one on this saxophone right here. I'm gonna use the gray one for that. We've got, again, a lot of compression going on with quite some gain makeup as well. So not only can we just use it for the compression, we can also use it a little bit as a coloring tool um, because it's giving this harmonic distortion to our signal. It seems to thicken up the sound, especially when you hear it with a really simple voiceover like I did here. Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia. Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia. You can hear how much it's adding. It, it's hard to put it in words what it's really doing because it's sounding so sweet. Well, um, the controls, let me just walk over them. We've got the, uh, the threshold or the amount of peak reduction right here. And we've got the makeup gain right here. And these are the only two real compression functions that we've got going on. Uh, we can change the meter output. Normally this is set to uh, measure the amount of gain reduction, which I personally like to see. But we can also see the plus four or the plus 10 dB outputs. Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia. Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia. Hey, what's up? It's Wick. Well, that's an awful lot of gain. Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia. And I've got a small vocal recording going on to see what the LA-2A leveler can do with my voice. Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia. And I've got a small vocal recording going on to see what... So uh, I'm using this silver right now. The controls for the compressor are the same on each of them. Um, I've got the peak reduction or the threshold right here. And I've got my gain makeup on the left. Normally you would want to visualize them the other way around, but... This is just the way it is. We can change what the meter is actually visualizing with this knob right here. Normally it's showing the amount of gain reduction, which I personally like to see, but we can also choose to see the plus four or the plus 10 dB output levels. Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia. And I've got a small vocal recording going on to see what the LA... But just to give an idea of uh, how much compression is going on, I like to have it on the gain reduction and I measure this uh, output level with my meters on my mixer. So that's how I personally like to work. So then we can turn this onto a limiter and now we just change the ratio. Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia. Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia. So now if I lower the threshold, Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia. It's giving an insane amount of compression. So we can choose between the compressor and the limiter setting, and that's basically changing the two fixed ratio settings that we have. The emphasis is going to give that shelving filter. Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia. And I've got a small vocal record. You can hear that in this case, it's actually starting to distort. Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia. And I've got a small vocal recording going on to see what the LA-2A leveler can do with my voice. So sometimes you got to be cautious playing around with the emphasis level. Uh, if you want to, you know, try to simulate a de -er, you could play around. But I personally like using a de -er a little bit better than using this emphasize by splitting the bands, etc. So I, I like to use a de -er separate from the, uh, from the compressor that I'm using. And we've got a bypass switch so we can easily compare the difference before and after. Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia. And I've got a small vocal recording going on to see what the LA-2A leveler can do with my voice. Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia. And I've got a small vocal recording going on to see what the LA-2A leveler can do with my voice. Talking about sound, talking about really good compression, you really got to mention the LA-2 uh, and the LA-2A from this really awesome plugin bundle. So this was it for today. I hope you guys have learned something about the LA-2A leveler. 
Soon I'm going to be comparing the original hardware versions of the LA-2A with some of the plugins that are out there, so uh, stay tuned for that. Check out my uh, Twitter or Facebook if you want to get notified about when that's going to happen. And uh, there might be some more cool stuff coming up, so you never know. Once again, this was Wick for Wikimedia. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Peace! Peace!